What's up and welcome back to Cleats to Whistle podcast. I am your host, Brad Valdez. I am Kevin Watson. And here we are back at, at Manual High School for session two of Player Profiles. Man, it's been a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode. Uh, but make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we are trying to hit 500 subscribers this year in 2024. That's our goal, right, Coach? That's right. We're That's getting right. there. We're getting there. Halfway there right now, man. Sure. Um, but uh, we are here, like I said, at session two. Um, but what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to have you guys introduce yourself, okay? We'll go right to left and, and just get us your name, your position, and your year. Uh, my name is Corey Warner. Uh, I play DB and a little receiver, and I'm a class of 2026, which is a sophomore. Uh, my name is Jalen Hayes. I'm a class of 25 junior, and I play linebacker and uh, sometimes D. Okay. Okay. So just like I say, just have fun with this man. Don't just don't take nothing serious. Um, this is gonna be a good one. Two defensive guys. Yeah, I know. But you like defense, man. You're oh, yeah. a defensive guy, man. Um, but go ahead, man, and and shout shout out your support systems, man. Who who supports you guys? Uh, it's just my mom, my dad, a couple other people. That's in my family. Uh, the school, of course. You know the coaches. Specifically, you know, Coach Eklov, Coach Dandy, and Coach Smitty. You know, these are my main coaches. Uh, Like he said, a lot of people support me, like family, coaches, trainers, uh, people who barely know me. Because one time I went to Qdoba, <laughs> and uh, he had remembered me from a mail game. He said, "Are right, you play corner, like number two? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he supports me, I guess. There you go. Hey, said, there you go. Kidoba. At least he didn't say, hey, you're that guy that got burnt on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're going to get into your transcripts a little bit. You know what I mean? Coach and myself, we, we go to all schools all over the city, man. And we go and we watch you lift and do all this. But I was like, I was telling Coach, I was like, man, I wonder how their transcripts are. He goes, you know what? You should ask that as a question. So what, what would your transcript say about you as a student athlete, as in your grades? Um, well... It would say I'm a fair student. I have a, a 3.0. You know, um, I'm not the perfect student, but I do try my hardest. In all my classes, I do what I can. I do what I know. And if I don't know, I ask. Um, but with me, 3.3, uh, 3, uh, it kind of goes up, kind of goes down. It just really depends on how I take take seriously. It do, like... Sometimes I'm off, sometimes I'm on. I just I gotta be more consistent. That's all it is. There you go. At, at least you catch yourself. You know what I mean. And that's a just that's well, a great. And one, and one thing too, if you're having trouble, these teachers love if you ask for help. I mean, they they'll help you if you ask. They'll help you. Yes, sir. And they're always there to help. A lot of times they won't unless you ask. But if you ask, there's not a teacher out there that won't help you. There you go. So great answers, man. Great yeah, answers so great. far, man. Yeah. But like I say, just 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 be easy with it, man, and have fun. Okay. Um. Leadership, man. How how do you how do you lead as a as a leader? Are you a leader of this football team? Yes, I'm a leader of this football team, and I'm a leader in the classroom. Uh, a lot of freshmen look up to me last year, coming in as a transfer, and some of the people that was older than me, like the juniors, as me coming in, taking a few spots, it did kind of rub them the wrong way. But once they see me being a leader and showing what I can do on the field and off the field, I got their respect. Uh, I say I'm a leader, too, on the football team um, and in the classroom when uh, I really do need to be because a lot of times there be people in the same grade as me or in the lower grade as me or higher, and they don't understand either, like, math or high, um, a sentence work or break down the story. You know, I help when I uh, can, when somebody needs to. You know, I'm just, I'm just a team player, honestly. Like, when somebody need me, I'm there, and when I need them, I hope they'll be there for me, too. So that's part of your transcript too. Are you are you a good teammate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People can come to you and ask questions. That's that's great. Oh yeah, yeah. of course. Especially yeah. the freshmen, because right. you know yeah. we got some powerful freshmen on the team. Mm -hmm. So it's sure. like, you know, whenever they need help with a play or anything like that, you know, just hit, just tap me on the shoulder, like you when we on the sideline or something during practice. You know, I got you, because you know, not all the time people can you know remember just like off a snap. So, you know. Yeah, and, and, like, you know what I mean? You say you're 26, right? You're 25, right? So, uh, like, your transition, you know, you saying, like, you didn't, you know, a lot of people might not get it, you know, like a snap. How did you do when you were coming up playing ball? Well, 
I was uh I was very confused because you know playing from going from AAU to high school is a totally different ball game because you know during the COVID year you know we didn't have middle school ball and all that stuff so and for me I was I used to be an offensive guy and when I came to manual you know I started being more of defense and offense was just so confusing to me like I always had to ask for help I always did it was it was just so confusing because like the plays were like a lot longer than it would be <laughs> at AAU because like AAU would be like jet left 37 uh power right but in high school it's like game, a gun slugger right 37 power 5 58 and I'd be like and I was just confused but like defense I picked it up like that though because hey, see just, the ball hit the ball man that's all there is to it right it's just, it's just you know know the number of the holes right. you know your four eyes 50s you know know your position where you got to guard know where you got to drop you fired up huh? yeah, you fired up coach now you're talking yeah cause, <laughs> we don't want those offensive guys in here we want to talk deep <laughs> And what about you, man? How, how was your transition? You know, you know what I mean? Going from like a little league, you know what I mean, to high school as a freshman. Where'd you transfer from? I transferred from St. X. Oh, okay. Uh. But <laughs> but um, even from little league, I was always a fast learner from starting playing tackle ball at three. Um, I used to play um, running back. I was a very good running back. But once I got to the high school level, once I started getting my growth spurt and they see how long my arms were, they wanted me to try DB, and I just found love for DB somehow. Yeah, and it's you look so like easy. a DB. Yeah. No, I mean, not, you look like a DB, long arms. <laughs> yes, sir. He looks like a linebacker. <laughs> I mean, that's – you can usually tell when they walk in the door. <laughs> yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. And, like, camp season. Are you guys starting to go to camps? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Where, have you guys been to any camps, or what's your, what's your camp schedule look like? Um, I have it all on my phone. I'm not ready to pull it out, though, but – uh. I am going to the, I feel like it's the Army Bowl com- Combine uh, in Dayton, Ohio. I feel like it's May 4th. Is uh, that the Blue Gray? Is it Blue Gray or the Army? I think it's the, the, think it's the Army. I'm Army? not sure. Okay. Yeah. I know there's so many of them. But <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's the Army. It is? <laughs> okay. But, uh, just some of the main colleges that I'm going to, uh, can I say that? You can yeah. say whatever uh, you want. Say, um, it's Louisville, Kentucky, Marshall, and I want to say WKU. It's the main colleges I'm going to right now for college. I mean, not for college, but for uh, for camps. Camps, yes. Nice, nice. Um, I just went to uh, Kentucky Bluegrass Showcase at K State the other uh, the other week, like during spring break. I had a linebacker MVP over there. Um, but down the line, I'm I plan on going to like um mega camps and stuff like uh, um Miami Ohio's mega camp. Um, I plan. I possibly plan on going to Auburn again, like I did last year. Um, at first, I was gonna go to Kentucky Wesleyan's um, camp, but then I seen Tennessee Martin send me a, a, a spring game invite and stuff, so I might go to that instead. Cause plus, you know, Kentucky Wesleyan they like four hundred dollars, you know. So. <laughs> so and and you know what, I I seen you at the at the showcase. I I was there. Um. But the crazy thing is, is why I asked you about your leadership is, you know, I mean, you were there, you were firing everybody up. You know what I mean? You guys are doing bag drills, hitting the bags. You guys are doing all your, your ins and outs and your, you know, your back pedals and stuff. And he was the one starting it all. And he was over there like, yo, let's go, let's go. He was hyping them up. You know what I mean? So it was, it was pretty cool that you, you know what I mean? You, you talk about your leadership because you're, you're a vocal guy, man. You're a vocal guy. And I, it fired me up when I, when I was watching you. Yeah, I try to be. I, I used to be a quiet guy, and it, it always got me in trouble. No chance. You've never yeah, been yeah. quiet. <laughs> now, I actually have. It was surprising. Really? Yeah, I used to be, you know, back in the corner. I used to just be that silent guy who just played. Like, I just played whatever. Whatever a coach told me, I just did it. I never really said anything. But at the end of the day, I had learned that I got to talk to others, too, because it's not just me on the field. It's everybody. You know, it's 11 men, so not just one. Let's go. Let's go. These are defensive guys, I told you, it's guys, defensive man. guys, man. Man, okay, and and this season, man, how how are you feeling about this team I'm right now? Very great about this team. We're young. We know what we have to do to win, and just everybody has to come together for real and just show everybody has to have leadership. It's just not one person, not five people. Whole team has to come together as one unit and just ball out for real. Not honestly, though, because – in the past, we did struggle on team chemistry because everybody was, you know, everybody wanted to be that star. And 
instead of just being a star together. Because when you're a star together, you know, you go way farther than individual. And this year, though, I think we're going to be really good because, you know, we changed our offense, our defense. We got new coaches. And I think everybody's just pumped up to, you know, to just start because, you know, last year we beat St. X for the first time in Lord knows how long. And we just waiting for mail, too. So, and we got, um, what is it, Frederick Douglass? Frederick Douglass now. Yeah. I really, I've been wanting to play Frederick Douglass since I was in eighth grade. I, I really love playing against Frederick Douglass because, you know, Lexington boys, you know, they they play. So, and I, and I want to play, too. Is that early in the season? Hmm? Yes. What, when do you game. play him? Third, third game. Third, third, oh, third wow. game, yeah. Okay. Third, yeah. Wow. Well, that'll that'll uh, that'll give you a good chance to know where you're at yeah, before yeah, you get into true. district yeah. play. Well, see, for yeah. real, for real. Um, during the Kentucky Showcase, the Bluegrass Showcase, it was a lot of Frederick Douglass boys, you know, a lot of Michigan boys, Frederick Douglass boys, Lexington, basically. And, you know, they was talking about, oh, Louisville's not like that, Louisville's this, Louisville that. But little do they know, it was four Louisville kids out of eight that had MVPs. True. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I, I just go can't get wait it. to play. Lexington. Go get it. Let's go, man. Let's go. Defense. Um, defense. Any any personal goals that you guys have for yourself this season? My personal goal as a defensive back uh, is really I want to get more than three picks this year. But as a team goal, I want to get past the second round because everybody talks about we have a curse on us. But I just believe that every time we get to the second round, we just get on ourselves. And we just fold under pressure. Like last year, we folded under pressure. And people say that we haven't been past the second round in like, I don't know how many years. Since 1988. But, yeah, that's a long time. We have to get past the second round. I'm still in high school. <laughs> oh, shoot, man. That's how long ago it was. Look at that guy over there. I'm old. <laughs> that was when my mama graduated. Hey, hey. No better time than the present. Yeah, so so what are what is your personal goal? Well, since last year I had all district, I want to get all state. I want to get more than 100 tackles this year. I was, like, 15 away. I had, like, 85. And I, and I was really mad at that, too. I didn't like it at all. Hey, guess what? If you'd have played another game, you'd have had 15 more. Yeah, man. burn you up, So, man. you get past the second round, 100 tackles is there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, plus I want to get more than two interceptions. You know, there I, you go. I had more than him. Yeah. So. <laughs> How many knockdowns did you have, though? Pass breakups. A lot. How many did you have? I don't know. <laughs> I, got, I got you. I got you, man. I was a DB coach. I got you. Uh, um, so, did you guys grow up in Louisville? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. What what uh, little league team did you guys play for? Uh, well, at first we was rivals. At first we he played for the uh, the Jaguars. Nah, I played for the Cougars. That's, it's the, the same thing. The Jaguars the is the Cougars. No, <laughs> Here we go. So, yeah, so so I, I used to play for the Western Yellow Jackets. Um, you know, down deep in West End, you know, where things happen. And, you know, him, you know, we, we used to be always neck and neck, you know, because even though he's younger than me, I – well, even though he's a lower class than me, we're almost the same age. I'm a young junior. So, um, we always used to lose to the Cougars, always. And, and, it, and it just always got to me. And so, um, at later on, we played for the same AAU team. We used to play for the Louisville Bucks. Yeah. And, you know, we did fair there. And, yeah, it was a travel ball. You know, we uh, went to, you know, Atlanta, Florida, Georgia, different stuff like that. Uh, as a little kid, played for the Louisville Broncos. The Broncos. Uh, boo. Beat it, everybody. I don't know why you're saying boo for but yeah. uh, <laughs> And then I had changed over to uh, the Cougars because I always played up. But then – oh, sorry. But um, I always played up. But once I had got to a point – where I wanted to go with my age group. Uh, so when we played them, uh, is where we beat them by a touchdown. Uh, it got hurt. But uh, it's it's cool. But like he said, play for the Bucks, AAU, travel the world, uh, just to get an experience of how half school ball is going to be and how like you have to compete every game just to get looked at and just you just got to ball out. No, for real. Even though they say Kentucky's not a football state, I think we can compete with all them Texas sure. boys and Florida boys. Yes. We definitely can, sure. for sure. Let's go, let's go, coach. Defensive guys, man. Right, that's they're different, different breed, man. Those <laughs> offensive guys are sissies. 
<laughs> oh, God. Man, I'm going to call them guys back in here, man. You know, one of them played both sides. Yeah, mm-hmm. Cam Jesse, boy. Hey, he's a bad man, though. He got district on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Okay, do you have uh, a, a celebration? Do you guys have a team handshake or, or, or position handshake? I mean, we did. Uh, I mean, my only celebration as a DB would be no fly zone or seatbelt, but that's I about it. it. I don't celebrate at all. <laughs> I don't really celebrate. So when y'all break it down as a group, it's no fly zone or? No it's kamikaze. Fly zone. Yeah, kamikaze. Kamikaze. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, you know, for the linebackers, though, we really just, you know, just flags, you know. But uh, I think it was the um, the second time I got my pick. I actually knew what I was doing that time. I did my little dance. You know, I, I went like that. And I was actually happy though because it was my second pick. I ain't never had I ain't never had more than a pick a season. So. But then also I got I got a new one this year though. You know, I'm, I'm gonna Uh-oh. put the box like that because you know I'm putting them in a box. You know. Nice. I like it. I like it. Now we're gonna have to watch for that. Now yeah, we're gonna have to we're go to Frederick th- Douglass game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. What other sports do you guys play? Uh, run track. Uh, I mean, I can play basketball, but it's not really a f- focus. If I play basketball, it's really for conditioning because I heard basketball is one of the most conditioned sports mm. because you're always on the move. You don't really take no breaks but timeouts. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, I did my fair share of sports. Like, when I was little, I just played basketball and football. But I really wasn't good at basketball. You know, it was just a little thing to do. But uh, when I got to high school, um, I did wrestling. I ran track, and I played football. Um, wrestling really got me good, though. I I encourage everybody to go wrestle. I encourage that. This guy, let's go, man. Favorite music artist coming out on a Friday night? Favorite music artist has to be ESTG. ESTG. Be. Like, on a win? On a win? On a win? Yeah, on a win. ESTG. ESTG. Uh, team-wise? Team-wise, I don't know. I don't know. So you're I, walking out and you got your Air- AirPods or whatever, your beats on. What are yeah. you listening to before oh, the game? Um, well, after the game, I'm really tired, so I just listen to Bryson Tiller. He's a little R&B singer. Yeah, Bryson, okay, okay. Right. But before, what do you listen to? Before, what gets uh, you hi- hyped for the game? <laughs> um, BK, Baby uh, baby Kia. Uh, you can't say Baby Kia because he just came out. No, he was there last year. But my before games has to be Dream to Nightmares by Meek oh, Mill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Meek Mill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Meek Mill is it. I think it's playing in every locker room. <laughs> it has to be, man. Okay. Uh, favorite fast food? Favorite fast food? If you don't say rallies. Rally, yes, got to be rallies. <laughs> best fries in town. Rallies, best yeah. fries, best yeah. banana shake. Yes. Best banana, best banana shake. shake. Yeah, yes. I'll give you. No, I, I promise you, he stayed over at my house before we went to a 707 to EKU, and he literally downed a burger this big. <laughs> Bro, it was so funny. <laughs> um, I Yours said, is rallies too, huh? No. No? No. What's Why yours? You at, What's yours? Like that for? What's yours? You look like a Kaniac guy. Nah, I'm a uh, three Big Mac man. Mm. Whoa. Big Macs? Yeah, Three of them? Yeah. Let's go. How fast can you do it? 15 minutes. You keep eating three Big Macs, you're going to be a defensive lineman. <laughs> um, they, they already call me a defensive lineman. Because um, last year I was 200. This year I'm 235. Mm. Let's go, kid. Okay. All right. I got a couple more questions and we're almost done, man. Um, what's one thing that you're trying to get better at this off season? Uh Just work on my mechanics more. Um, I want to get faster for sure. Uh, I feel like I'm up to par with my strength, but there's always room to get even stronger. Um, yeah, that's really it. Do you like pressing or? Um, to a certain point. Mm-hmm. I know I'm not going to say our defense, but this defense I'm going to have to. Okay. I might just have to. It's man to man. Uh, I'll say this year I got yeah, to be more hands on with the slots because I know this year we are man to man. Um, but also – I gotta um I gotta get better with the linemen, you know, cause you know you know a lineman just they annoy me sometimes, cause you know like cause like you feel like you ready to make that play they're you, in the way yes they are cause like you feel mm, like you're, offensive guys in the way they're in the way doing their job that's right it don't even be that cause they only be they don't even be doing their job they just stand there they're just fat and slow and sloppy yeah. and they just get in the way <laughs> just get you in the way it, you, if you yeah. won't say it I'm I'm gonna start standing stepping up for these <laughs> offensive guys man you you you're, you're trashing their name man I'm all defense I, I know you are yeah, I'm gonna bring I, these I offense I tell you KQ be the main one to step on your feet though like <laughs> hey, 
That's See, a they true cheat too. Lineman. <laughs> Offensive linemen cheat. Seriously. Every play they cheat. They hold. <laughs> they do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'm speechless, coach. Just because you're you're being like ferocious about your defensive guys, man. Hey, that's my love. Defense is my love. Defense win the games. Defense wins championships. Yes. Offense sells tickets. Yes. Defense yeah. wins championships. <laughs> yes. Okay, and I have one more question. The coach has one more. Um, who are you most excited about playing this season? I want to say male because I have always been a big fan of the rivalry, and now since I'm here, now I have to win the barrel for us. Like, mm. not just me, but as a team, as a whole. Okay. Well, I got two. Uh, well, no, I got three. Well, because, you know, St. Nick, I said St. Nick, Central, they be the main ones. Central. You know. Hey, C- Central. That's week one, right? Yes, yes, it is. See, like, they like to talk a whole lot of crap. They love it. But, you know, we always, you know, we always shut them up, always. And mm. then um, Frederick Douglass, of course. You know, I talked about them, them Lexington boys. They just, they like to talk. So, we like to shut them up. And then uh, Mel. Because, you know, I've always been around Mayo before I've been to Mayo because I went to the boys. We was at uh, Mayo's same little school. I mean, I said Mayo. Mayo, same little school. So, uh, I, love, yeah, I like to play Mayo, too. Like, they uh, they talk a lot, too. Let me tell you who you're most looking forward to playing. Who? Week 15. That's the state championship. Man. I, 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 I ain't going to – whoever whoever we got during the playoffs, ship, during the season, district, whatever – just know we coming for you for real, cause last year, last year and the year before that we was just playing around. Like we just we we actually like we got a team, we got some hitters, we got some players, and we gonna hit hard. Honestly, let's go. I really let's go, I like guys. Ballard though. Oh yeah, Ballard's my number Ballard. one. Ballard put Ballard. you out, so you gotta you gotta give him something. Yes. Yeah. There I get we it. go, man. Phenomenal episode, man. Great game. Coach, you got Great. your last question, man. So my my question's a little deeper. It's I always pose this question. So. You win the state championship this year. You beat Ballard in the state championship. Mm. Something happens. You blow your leg out, whatever. You can mm-hmm. never play football again. What are you going to do with your life after high school if you can't play football? You answer that question first or me? You answer that first. Okay, so I've always had a thought of a plan B because football can never be a plan A. So my plan B really is to really be some type of trainer, uh, for sure, I'm going to college, but I also want to get into financials and accountant. Um, and also, I want a clothing brand for myself, though, because I want to be entrepreneur. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. I want to be, uh, well, I said I want to be. I want to, uh, so, like, basically, you know, if I get hurt, blow my knee out or something like that, um, I'm going go to go to college. I'm actually, like, study hard, like, because I want to do business. Um, cause I want to make a business that athletes can who be who they are and work, work out really hard. Cause I know a lot of athletes don't get that chance and I want to be that one that that's in that business to where I can like build places, make fields, you know, work with different companies and, you know, help, help them make their money. Cause you know, it's only 1% that make it. So I want to make that 1% in the two. There you go. Two entrepreneurs, future entrepreneurs, yeah. man. I love it, man. Great episode, man. Just and, hit, me and up, you know, hit me up with that clothing brand if you ever get and, if you ever get to that point. And you know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a button and and let me let, get, Let's get, get get their reaction. Get your reaction to this button when you hear this. Okay, okay. Give me give me your first reaction. Dog. What's your first reaction? What? Dog. Dog. I'm a dog. Are you You're a dog? dog? Are you a dog? I'm a ram. You're a ram. There you go. Yeah, he Let's caught go. it. They he caught it. it. First guys were like, they well, he fell like, for it. He <laughs> fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> you can be a dog. You can, hey, here it is, though. You can be a DA double G and yeah. still be a ram. Mm. But, but they're pups, though. That's the thing. They're pups. Oh. They're pups. They're pups. Ooh, let's go. A phenomenal I mean, episode. I wouldn't even say pups. I say they're purse dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a story. We're here for them to tell it. Cleats to whistle podcast love it